And it is the first introduced by new Mayor Aftab Purival, who sat down with Local 12's James Pilcher for a one-on-one -on -one interview after the vote. The mayor says he is pleased with what was included, but says challenges remain. Cincinnati Mayor Aftab Purival takes pride in the fact that we just saw one of the smoothest budget processes here at City Hall that we've seen in decades. That being said, he knows this could be rocky in the coming decade. The budget includes money for two new recruit classes for both the police and fire departments, with the city getting as many as 100 new firefighters. It also sets aside $85 million from the federal stimulus passed by Congress. That's $18 million more than originally planned. Pureval says the city would run an $18 million deficit without those funds and that inflation remains an issue going forward. In 2026, we are looking at, we are projecting a budget deficit of in excess of $30 million. That is only going to get worse if the, uh, if the economy experiences a recession, as many experts are uh, suggesting. The budget also sets aside an additional $72 million in stimulus money to cover any future shortfalls over the next five years. It's a major issue as the Ohio Supreme Court decides whether cities can recover income tax from remote workers. But the city is also expecting nearly 21 percent more in income tax revenue in the coming year than previously predicted. Pureval also said he's not concerned about the city's pension obligations, even with the recent declines in the stock market. There will always be ebbs and flows in the short-term market conditions uh, that affect our long-term pension strategy. But one of the first things that this council did was to shore up the dollars going to the pension fund. For the first time in a very long time, new money going to the pension fund. Our projections in the short term for the end of this year, from a revenue perspective, are very strong. And as I previously reported, the budget includes $1 million for child care providers to recruit and train teachers to help people get back to work. At Cincinnati City Hall, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. The council has one more meeting next week before taking off for the summer with one meeting set for August and they get back to full time in early September. All right, when electric cars catch fire, they present a whole new set of dangers for first responders. Coming up, Local 12 investigates an issue with EVs you may